as a human being, if you were ever asked what the greatest gift you've ever received was, what would your answer be? To me, our greatest gift of all ever as a species is our mind. Because we've never been the fastest, the biggest, or the strongest. At the end of the day, it's been always about our thoughts, our feelings, our perception of our surroundings, and our experience of life. This is a result of billions of electrical and chemical signals that constantly shape our sense of being. However, all it takes is a tiny signal out of place in the vast neural galaxy of the brain for our thoughts to become jumbled, for our emotions to become distorted, and for us to get disconnected from people, the world around us, and even ourselves. Depression is a battle, but unfortunately we still don't exactly know how it strikes, and we don't even have optimal tools to fight it. To cope with this problem, we wanted to act like a detective by bringing every single piece of the puzzle of depressive disorders all together to track the strands of this huge web and will capture our attention the most for sex differences in brain disorders. Not only does depression demonstrate a clear female dominance, but women bear the brunt of depressive disorders and they respond differently to any depressants. Ergo, we first decided to investigate the biological correlates of female sex and their impact on response to a rapid-acting antidepressant in a genetic rat model of depression. We then computationally simulated the interaction of different antidepressants which are cellular targets in the brain, and finally, we traveled deep inside the cell to take a closer look at the machineries related to female sex. And here is what we interestingly found. Hormonal fluctuations across cycles of depressed female rats neither affect their response to antidepressants nor predispose them to exhibit more depressive-like behaviors. However, deep inside, almost all antidepressants are capable of directly interacting with molecular targets associated with female sex. So, when we talk about sex differences in the brain, it's not about who's better at math or multitasking. It's not even about playing soccer, doing ballet, preferring blue to pink, or even being sentimental. It's all about diseases and the way they need to be treated. Depression is a leading cause of disability, and as the number of people living with depression is increasing, it's never been more crucial to discover those out-of-balance circuits to discover better, faster, and a stronger antidepressants. Scrutinizing sex differences in psychiatry actually gives us an extra tool to do so on the way to vanquish depression and to conquer our greatest gift of all and the ability to experience life to the fullest. Thank you.